everyone it's me jamshed raza from professionaltutorial.com and today in this tutorial i am going to show you how you can install windows 10 using uh, mac operating system or you can say that in your mac operating system you can install windows 10 and you can work both in your windows 10 and in windows like in operating system os okay now for that one uh, i am using my laptop and that has like uh, macOS Mojave operating system is installed in that one and also we have like um, the version is mid 2012 and it is a old version but you can also install that in 2019 as well don't worry that one and uh, everything else is completely fine we are going to just uh, remove that one and one thing i will i'm going to show you i'm going to tell you that if you have like old version of uh, uh mac book or iMac, you can install both on laptop or desktop then you need like a usb drive i have us usb drive and that is like scan disk and i have that one uh, using like 64 uh, uh, 16 gb and uh, i'm going to connect that one like here in windows operating system and uh, therefore now we are going to use that one if you need that usb drive i will also provide the link in the description of that uh, video you can directly order that one and can use that without any problem and further one thing um, else you are going to need for the installation of windows 10 definitely you must have like windows 10 i user and i'm i'm i have here like in the desktop and uh, it is windows 10 iso file okay now uh, again uh, if i'm going to come in spotlight then i am going to write here like bootcamp assistant and you will get like bootcamp assistant you are going to double click on that one and you will get a bootcamp assistant window and you are going to click next and uh, here you have like uh, bootcamp assistant if you need to uh, create windows 10 or later uh, installation disk and it is need a usb flash drive uh, and a windows 10 or later version iso image and you also check download the latest uh, windows support software and also install windows 10 or later version when you are going to click on that one and remember that uh, in older version of macbook you will get that one if you have newer version you will not get that okay now i'm going to click continue and uh, it will just automatically select the is file which i have right now in my desktop like here and it is just selecting that one and you can continue that but uh, before continuing i have already just created the uh, windows 10 usb and uh, downloaded the latest version for for my usb and i'm going to just remove that to one and uh, then continue and you will get like a create a partition for windows and you can uh, you must have like minimum 40 gb uh, in your hard drive if you don't have 40 gb then you cannot install that one and uh, if you need for example much more uh, like space then you can drag or slide that one like i will just need uh, 80 gb and uh, that is fine for me right now to install games or softwares okay now we are going to install that one and uh, then it will ask for password you have to enter the password for your mac and then press ok and you will you will get like here we have uh, status partition disk and it will take a little bit time to continue and when it will continue then it will pop up once again the password and then it will boot in windows 10 and we will proceed for further now it just uh, prompt the uh, password then you have to enter the password once again and then it will restart now right now and uh, it will boot on on uh, windows 10 then everything we are going to install windows 10 then further 
here you have to select the language like i am using united states that is completely fine and usa and we are going to click on next like uh, uh page and we have like windows 10 pro 64 gb uh 64 bit and we can just click next and then we have like license increment you should agree the license agreement and click next and uh, right now you have like mm, uh, you should be careful with that partition as i have just selected 80 gb and that is the boot game assistant and you have like uh, further 157 uh, gb and that is a uh, simply no partition i think and 20 mb therefore you should delete that one because the next is disabled right now you have to delete the partition from here and press ok and further now you can see that we have unlocated file uh, space and you are going to click that one and just press next now you can see that the windows installation file is going to uh, copy in the hard drive and after the the file completes then we will get a little bit more uh, like setting and then our windows will be completely ready as you can see that uh, it is getting device ready and you should wait a little bit that everything should complete and now it is just six percent completed and uh, it will continue and now we are just going to select united state english language and i'm going to press yes then uh, we will select like for the keyboard layout layout and should it should be like us and we are going to click yes and uh, what to add a second keyboard layout i'm going to skip that for now and you can also add a second layout keyboard keyboard but right now i'm going to skip that and uh, it is saying that you should connect with the internet and i'm going to skip that as well for now and here we have like who is going to use this pc i will say that professional tutorial like and uh, we are just going to click next and we need a password here as well and you have to enter a new password and click next and confirm that password once again while writing that one the same password and a hint i will say that is always and uh, i'm going to click next and now it is a time it will take a little bit more time and it is saying that cortana your personal assistant i will just say no right now i don't need that one and we are going to click no and here i have like pri privacy setting for my device i'll set except right now everything but you can just read whatever is written here and then you are going to just turn off or turn on that one but right now i'm going to just accept everything here what is the default which is here here you get like your windows is now completely ready and you can see that everything is completely fine but before we can completely use windows 10 you can see that the bootcamp windows is here and one last step is here that welcome to bootcamp installer and uh, you will be guide guided through these steps necessary to install bootcamp to start it click next and we are going to say yes okay install next and we are going to agree the the license and we will just click install and we will wait a little bit more and uh, it will completely install then uh, we are going to use windows 10 and uh, it will completely uh, work like you you will use in different version of windows
now you can see that uh, the bootcamp installer completed everything and you can finally just go and just click finish and uh, it just restart system for the configuration changes to make bootcamp service to take effect and uh, click yes to restart now or no if you plan to manually restart we are just going to select no uh, because we don't want right now and uh, if you want to just uh, change your bootcamp you have like here okay we should restart first then everything uh, will be completely here i hope you got the basic idea that how you are going to install like uh, windows 10 on on your macbook pro and if you got the bit if you understand that one please uh, don't uh, forget to subscribe my channel for more amazing video like this one and also thumbs up that video also share with your friends and uh, just give me permission to say goodbye right now thank you everyone for watching complete video